Welcome to the Marketing Minute on Mondays. I'm Robin Lee, I'm the Vice President of Operations at The Ad Leaf. And I'm Crystal Mazura, I'm the COO. And today we're gonna to talk about how to get more email subscribers. Ooh, I love this topic. Yes. I love email campaigns, they're so much fun. Yes, me too. So this is one of the top ones that we always get asked about is how they can organically grow their email list. Yes. And so we have three ways for you to employ right now, whatever you're doing, to get more emails. So the first one is, and this seems really simple, but a lot of people don't do it. At your shop, on your location, are you asking people to come in for their emails? Are you building your list from where it is? Yeah, yeah. So you can do it on location at your store if you have a physical location, whether it's a store, a restaurant, maybe it's a doctor's office, um, and at events. So maybe, maybe you travel around and go to trade shows or events. So how can you do this? So you can ask them um, directly, verbally, you could ask them, or you could have an iPad set up. There's a lot of cool software you can use that will have, um, that let you have an option to put like different social media icons on there and a, and a space for them to enter their email address. So it's really easy for them to just click on each social platform so they can follow you and enter their email address so then you get that contact put into your email list automatically and it's really simple and it's user friendly and it's and you can even a lot of them you can even brand with all of your branding colors and logo and everything and we talk about all the time unified branding identity is so important yeah. to employ yeah. Yeah. but don't I mean just don't be afraid to ask people if they'll if they'll share it for you yeah. So, and that leads to our next one about asking on your website. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Definitely have a contact your contact form on your website. Um, you already are collecting email addresses on your contact form, but a lot of people forget to funnel those email addresses into your email list. Yeah, so MailChimp, you can have an API that automatically gets it from capturing to your list. So you don't have to worry about, oh, did I remember to put that in there? This is also important for e-commerce sites as well. People have purchased from you and they've already provided their email address for tracking information. What are you doing with that information later? Yeah, absolutely. So the third one is running a Facebook ad. So running a Facebook ad is a great way to collect email addresses. Um, it's not a free option, so it is one where you're gonna have to spend a little bit of money, um, but it's very effective, especially if you use a lead magnet. What's a lead magnet? I'm glad you asked that. So a lead magnet is something that you offer in exchange for their, the user to give you their email address. So this can be something in the form of maybe it's a quiz and to get their results they have to submit their email address. Maybe it's a coupon, maybe it's an ebook. So um, that is a really effective way to get someone's email address. Uh, and I also think when it comes to ebooks, a lot of people are like, well, I'm not a good writer. It could be very picture driven and it doesn't have to be a long drawn out item but the main thing is the topic needs to be very poignant and get people to click to download yeah and if you don't want to write a whole ebook sometimes you can just write like a one or two page pdf that gives them that the value that you would write a book about maybe it's just a topic that, that you could see yourself writing a book about but you just want to write some pointers um just give them a one or two page pdf um, in exchange for their email address so comment below let us know how you're building your email list and we appreciate you joining us on monday hope to see you next monday thanks guys